Panda, 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 panda. I got brides in Atlanta. She's with the lean in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Getting the looks in the band. Legacy. Presently, technological advancements have made our life easy. Today, with the help of a mobile phone, talking or video chatting with anyone across the globe is quite handy by just moving our fingers. Whereas, having a latest phone is always a good supply of our needs. Choosing the right mobile phone in order to correctly meet our requirements sometimes become very difficult because heaps of gadgets are available in the market. But I am sure that this video will clear all the confusion you might face when you intend to buy a new smartphone. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you are always notified when the new video is posted. Amazon link has also given in the description box for your ease so that you can buy any of your favorite phones. Now presenting comparison review of Motorola G Power and Moto G Stylus so let's get into the video. In this video, we're going to be comparing the Moto G Power to the Moto G Stylus. Let's see how these two devices from Motorola are similar and different. Now both phones feature displays at 6.4 inches. They're both IPS LCD displays. They're both 1080p. And you can see that they both look super crisp and clear. With both phones, we're getting a PPI of 399, a 19 by 9 aspect ratio, and an 83% screen to body ratio. So both phones feature the same exact panel on the front. In fact, everything on the front is the same. They both have the same sized bottom bezel. They both have the same placement for the front facing camera. So many similarities in that regard. In addition to that, with both devices, we're getting 16 megapixel front-facing cameras. Now with the Moto G Power, we're getting 64 gigabytes of internal storage, compared to the Moto G Stylus, where we get 128 gigs of storage. Now both phones do feature microSD card expansion, though, to expand that storage. But essentially, with the Moto G Stylus, we're getting twice the amount of internal storage. They both have fingerprint sensors on the back, and they both work very quickly and smoothly. So you can see very quick there with the Moto G Power. And then with the Moto G Stylus, very quick as well. Now both devices do lack face unlock. Now take a look at the back of the two devices. We do have the camera modules. And at first glance, they look very similar. But there are some very big differences here. So with the Moto G Power, we're getting a 16 megapixel main camera compared to a 48 megapixel main camera with the Moto G Stylus. And then with the Moto G Power, we're getting an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera compared to a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with the Moto G Stylus. And with both phones, we are getting a 2 megapixel macro camera. Now the biggest difference with the ultra wide angle cameras with these two phones is that with the Moto G Power, you can record video and take photos with the ultra wide angle camera but with the Moto G Stylus, you can only take video with the ultra wide angle camera. There is no support with the Moto G Stylus to take photos with that ultra wide camera. That is certainly something that you will want to know before considering either of these two phones. Now, one of the features that the Moto G Stylus does offer, though, with the ultra wide angle camera is a feature called Action Cam. So essentially, you can record horizontal video by holding the phone vertically and that's what uses the ultra wide angle camera. So they're kind of going for a GoPro approach here. But again, you do get that limitation of not being able to take photos with that ultra wide camera. And then with the Moto G Power, we're getting more of a traditional setup. So you can take photos and videos with the ultra wide camera, but you don't get this cool feature here where you can record horizontal video while having the phone vertical. But you can see right here with the Moto G Power, I have the camera set to the ultra wide angle camera. And with the Moto G Stylus, I have it set to the standard camera. And you can see how much more content is able to fit into the frame using the ultra wide angle camera with the Moto G Power. Now both phones feature portrait mode with both the front and rear cameras. Both devices feature four gigabytes of RAM and they both feature the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor. Now with both devices, we get 4K video with the rear camera and 1080p with the front. With the Moto G Power, we get a beefy, 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery compared to a smaller, but still large, 4,000 milliamp hour internal battery with the Moto G Stylus. So you are getting a thousand extra milliamp hours of battery capacity with the Moto G Power. Now taking a closer look at the hardware of these two phones, they feature an all plastic build, of course, besides the display itself. 
But taking a look at the left side of the two phones, we just have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side of the two devices, we have the power button and volume button. Then on the top of the two phones, we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom, we have the speaker, we have the microphone, we have the USB-C port for charging and data transfer. We have the headphone jacks on both devices. And then of course, with the Moto G stylus, we are getting the stylus here. So that's the whole point why this phone is called the Moto G stylus. You can use the stylus to take different notes, write things down like that. You can erase things too. So overall, really nice to see here. You know, the stylus can also be used for general navigation around the phone as well. So I don't think the stylus is a gimmick, that's for sure. I know there's many situations where it can really come in handy. Now with the Moto G Power, you are not getting a stylus, but you are getting a larger battery. And you're also getting the ability to take photos with the ultra wide angle camera. So those are really the only two perks that I can think of with the Moto G Power compared to the G Stylus. So this is my comparison between the Moto G Power and the Moto G Stylus. I hope this video made things a bit more clear about the differences and similarities between these two devices.